see, I was in top. Uh, I don't I know. Top. First of all, like elaborate that shit. You know, oh no, it's a bad thing. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> oh, my gym is feel so gay. face was like a wrinkly scrotum. You know what I'm saying, sister? <laughs> okay, enough about jo <laughs> sorry. Enough about George Bush. Uh, we've got David Beckham on the show today, and he's speaking to us live uh, from Spain, where he's currently playing soccer for a team named Real Madrid. Although they don't call it soccer over there, do they, David? What do they call it over there? David? Uh, da da David? Mr. Beckham! Mr. Beckham! Oh, isn't he pretty? Oh, no, he's dreamy. dreamy. Gene, isn't he pretty? God, yeah. look at him. Oh. So pretty. I love his hair. I, I love his shoulders. David! Woo! Uh, Hot stuff! If you can hear us, David, tell us a little bit about why you're here. Uh, I'm doing an interview for you guys, so I can get a bit of money. Uh, because I said that if I don't do it, I can't have them colouring books they promised me, and I'm really after them. I really can't wait to get one. The one I want most has got uh, soldiers in, and the soldiers have got, like, helmets. Uh, but there isn't a colour chart, so you can colour the helmets any colours you want, which I'm really excited about, because I want to do, like, a pink helmet. Imagine that. It'd be like, it'd be like a normal helmet, except for it'd be pink, which means Victoria would love it, because Victoria likes pink. I don't like it. I think it's a, a colour for gays. I don't, oh, okay, I don't like, David, like I'm going to have to stop you stuff, now. But... I'm going to different... Okay, well, what's, what's your main incentive for coming to America? Is it, you know... I mean, we already know, already all over the world, you're a huge star, and you're a star here in the USA as well. Is it the, uh, is it the money? Is it the soccer? The experience? What? Uh... At the moment, it's just about the colouring books. I just, I've heard that America have got great colouring books. So at the moment, it's that. But when I, when, you know, when I get there, hopefully I'll probably play a bit of fo uh, football and stuff, and maybe go shopping and things. But until then, um, I'm going to just do a lot of colouring. I mean, you know, Spanish colouring books are absolute shit, if you want my opinion. And the word games in the back are all in Spanish. Uh, so I have to get Victoria to help me do them, and she's very crap at Spanish. She only knows a few words, like Gucci and Dolce and Cabana, and she also knows how to say, stay away from my husband, you fat whore. Mm. Uh, I imagine in Spain she was kind of like, you know, fuck my ass, we're in the desert, there's no stores, what will I do? But when she gets to the <laughs> USA, David, I mean, she'll be like, oh no, where do I start? That's the problem. LA is a large place. I mean, do you like to shop too, David? Uh... Of course I don't, no one likes shopping really, do they? But I have to go with her sometimes, because otherwise she'll forget to buy me my colouring books. And if she doesn't get me them, I'll have nothing to do all evening before I have to go to bed. And then the next day when I go to training, you know, I've got nothing new to tell the lads about, have I? I haven't got nothing to show to the coach that I did the night before, so I have to get a colouring book or two. Uh, just so I've got something to do more than anything. But of course, we also, we like to get a pick and mix or two sometimes because uh, me and the boys, we like to eat a lot of sweets, which isn't really good for your teeth and that, but I don't really give a shit, to be honest. I, do, I really like lollipops, which are kind of just like a ball of candy, really, on a stick. Uh, oh, that's us there eating them. Uh, except Romeo looks more like Juliet on that picture because we haven't had his hair cut for ages because we're too scared to take him to a Spanish hairdresser because, you know, they're angry that I'm leaving for the US so they might just be bastards and shave something in Spanish in the back of his head and I could do without having to go home and finding out from Victoria that my son has got the word fuckhole shaved neatly into his cranium. Yeah, uh, let's talk a little bit more about Victoria. How did a skinny bag of bones like that bitch bag a hunk like you with boggles of mine tell us? <laughs> come on, David. I don't really want to say it on telly because oh, my come on, you've got to. Week. Tell but us. Go on. Because I love her. Oh, you heard what? it here first, guys. You know that dirty little go skinny on, David, bitch. do you love her? Yeah. Oh, we knew David, it. You we can knew have it. Me. Tell us about how you, you got have together. Me, David. <laughs> Tell us about how you got together. Uh, Ignore I was her. I was at a Spice Girls concert, uh, and... Um, because I won some front row tickets off SpiceGirls.com. Because of where I was standing for the entire concert, I kept catching the odd glimpse of her fanny up her skirt. And for me, it was love at first sight. And then after the concert, somebody introduced us. And uh, I said to her, uh, my name's David and I'm a footballer. And uh, she said I couldn't give a fuck. And she just went off backstage because the Spice Girls used to do a lot of coke back in the day, you see. So they were always wrecking off their tits. <laughs> and uh, we'd be putting loads of effort in trying to get backstage with the girls because Ryan Giggs was after that one that looked like a small child. I can't remember her name now. Uh, 
uh, toddler spice, I think it was. Uh, but Victoria, she came round my house. She had a bottle of wine in her hand. She'd already drunk it. She was absolutely wankered. So I let her in. She slept on the sofa. I snuck in in the middle of the night. Had the little go on a tit, and the rest is history. Uh, we've spared no expense on the gift we've given you, David. I don't think you've seen it yet, but it's basically uh, a used yeah. Kobe Bryant jersey. Uh, they, it's just <laughs> next to you, yeah. yeah. Uh, I yeah. hope you like it. Yeah. I mean, That's... you know, we found it in the hey. trash out back. Kobe and... wears 24 now, yeah. isn't he? So it's a bit shit. <laughs> uh, yeah, David, listen. D David, <laughs> David, it's yeah. either that jersey or this bright collection of clothing we stole off a bum outside a liquor store, okay? So, uh... You know, you've got $250 million, buy yourself your own fucking jersey <laughs> next time. Thanks for coming on the show, though, David. Yeah, yeah. Uh, please come again soon. That'd I will. be great. Uh, say hello to your wife for us. And, and, and just quickly before you go, if there's anything else you'd like to add, Golden Balls, take it away. Uh, I'd just like to give a quick shout out to my new neighbours in Los Angeles, the Bloods and the Crips. Uh, I just want to say, please don't hurt me. I've got so much to offer the world. Asshole. <laughs>